to a new series co-hosted by Mark Frex. My name is Jeff Rediger. I'm host of Jeff Rediger and Friends podcast series where we work and promote financial advocates, financial advisors, financial professionals who serve specific uh, markets. And uh, this is a unique series because it's entitled The Road Less Traveled, Turning Your Retirement Worries into an Excursion of a Lifetime. And this is dedicated to all the federal employees out there. And uh, Mark is the co-host and author of this of this book. So Mark, uh, thanks for joining me in this series. Oh, thanks for having me, Jeff. Looking forward to uh, discussing uh, retirement, retirement planning, especially how it how it works with being a, uh, a federal worker in their unique circumstances. Absolutely. So uh, let's give the audience uh, in this introductory session today, let's give the audience a little background on your practice. Can you tell us, you know, how you got started, uh, you know, your, your target audience, um, where you're located and how you help uh, federal employees? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, um, I've actually been in financial services for over 30 years, but really got into uh, investment advisory business, which is, you know, investing people's money uh, about 20 years ago, worked for a firm for about 10 years. And then a little, a little something happened that may ring a bell with, with some of our listeners. 2008 hit. Um, and here I am with this investment firm trying to help people retire and, and they're losing 20, 30, 40%, maybe even more of their portfolios. And, and basically our story for these folks, uh, some being federal workers, some not, were, um, well, you know, uh, you, you may be 60 or 55 and, and all that kind of good stuff. And yes, you did lose 30, but the market lost 45. So we beat the market. So let's hang in there, fella or madam or whatever the case may be. And and it really, really turned a light on, uh, a little light bulb above my head, you know, popped on. And uh, I, I realized at that point that there was more to retirement planning than just being an investment advisor. And so I decided to kind of go back to school. And when I say that, I mean, I began interviewing colleagues, uh, industry leaders, um, uh, studying up on, on changing trends in retirement and things like that. And, and what I discovered was that, um, first of all, this is not our grandfather's retirement anymore. Uh, things have become, become so much more complicated. Uh, so many more people are in the stock market. So many people participate in TSPs and 401ks and, and things of that nature. Many pensions have disappeared, although thankfully for the federal worker, we still have that available, but changes are coming. Uh, it's what I'm hearing on that as well. But um, so I kind of woke up and spent the next two years really revising what, I, what, what my business was about. And, and then I started my own firm at that point. And instead of being ABC wealth managers or whatever, we decided to call us what we were, which is master plan retirement consultants. Uh, because, you know, if you're 25 years old, it's, it's fine to have somebody invest your money. But if you're 50 and older and you're getting closer to retirement, you need to graduate to a, a true retirement planner, which includes a whole lot more than just trying to invest money, especially for the federal worker, Jeff, as you know, you know, they have, they have a language all their own, right? I mean, first time I heard, uh, the, the word fagley, I thought it was some type of a disease that had been discovered or something. Yeah. Um, whereas if you're a federal worker, you know, that's your life insurance and the FEHB and the, and the CSRS and the FERS and all this stuff. And, and I really kind of bumped into that in my early days at that last firm because we were near uh, several uh, government entities, including CDC, uh, the, the large VA hospital in Atlanta, uh, Dobbins Air Force Base was close by and, and several other facilities. So we'd, we'd have an occasional federal worker contact us. And I didn't know the language. And, and so I had to make a decision as I was creating our new firm. Um, was this a population that needed help? And the more I talked to federal workers, the more I realized that they're desperate for help. And so we have kind of morphed our firm into, into working with federal workers. It's not the only people we work with, but it's the majority of the people we work with. We, we have designations that where we've been trained on federal workers. We, I myself have personally taught over a hundred classes to federal workers. We still teach uh, at least once or twice a month uh, seminars. And, and so um, we've really been blessed with that because uh, federal workers have always been promised, Hey, you know, the government will help you understand your benefits and they've never really delivered on that. And so we are able to step in and, and teach them. And 
uh, and, and it's uh, it's really neat to combine retirement planning with the federal system because it's two complicated areas that we're able to mesh together. Well, then um, let's talk about the book a little bit. Um, you, the original, uh, the road less traveled, turning your retirement worries into an excursion of a lifetime. When did when was that original <clears throat> book published? It was published about five years ago. I'd been working on it in my head for about 10 years. Uh, finally began putting uh, pen to paper um, about six or seven years ago and finished it up about five. And and it was really to, to it's really a series of stories, Jeff. It's, it's stories about um, actual clients we've helped. Uh, the names have been changed to protect the innocent, but um, these are actual right. problems and how we solved them. And, and, and you know, it all starts with, with a plan. Um, you know, I love telling people, you know, let's say you're driving down the road and, and, and you see this big Lowe's or Home Depot store and, and they've got this huge tent out front. So you stop by and you, you look under the tent and they've got all these doors and windows for sale. And, you know, one day you want to build a house and you're like, hey, it's time to load up. Right. And so, you know, you buy 20 windows and 10 doors and get them delivered and you put them back in the barn or the garage or whatever in anticipation of building a house. Well, that, Jeff, is how most people do retirement planning. They go out and buy products that they're sold. They might buy an annuity. They might buy an investment. They might buy a life insurance policy, but there's not a plan in place. What's the purpose? Just because it's a good deal doesn't mean it fits what you need. And so before you start buying doors and windows, you need a blueprint. And that's what we do. We call it a retirement roadmap. And it is a plan of how to get where you want to be, when you want to be there, and not have to worry about running out of money or having some catastrophe approach you because we've considered every possible thing that could happen and have created a strategy for it. And that's kind of the whole basis of the book and the whole basis of our, of our firm. Well, I'm excited to be part of this. And so uh, for the audience out there, what we are doing is we're taking Mark's book and we're federalizing it for lack of a better term. And so <laughs> as we go through these chapters, you're going to hear stories uh, that you might relate to based on um, your experience, uh, start date with the government, what, what some of the challenges are, because you have a lot of moving parts out there. And that's why you really need an advisor who specializes. I talk about this all the time. And that's why I started my podcast series with a specialist, because I don't think that financial planning in of itself to the general population works anymore. You need to have somebody who's focused on your benefits, your needs, your cultures, and really the stress that you go through on a daily basis. Whatever it is in the workforce, we we deal with stress. And so that's why Mark and I put this together. Yeah, excellent. Exactly. So let's talk about next week. So um, um, each week we're going to uh, discuss a chapter of the book. And uh, before I have uh, Mark, you give out your website and everything. Let's first talk about uh, chapter one. What are we going to talk about next week? Well, chapter one is kind of the introduction of the whole book. And it's, it's uh, uh, we call it, this is a teaser, by the way, Jeff. Don't you love teasers? Yes. It's called uh, uh, the California Road Trip. And, and so it is a story that um, I used to tell at every class. Sometimes I run out of time now, but it, it is kind of the story of of creating that retirement roadmap. So we'll, we'll get into that a little bit and, and you'll be able to relate that journey to your journey to retirement. And, and so I think it will help further focus, um, you know, you know what it is that we do, but also what it is that you really need to be done. Uh, and especially again, as a federal worker, those extra pieces that come into play, if you're not, um, you, know, you know, Jeff, as you know, a lot of these decisions that retirees make, once they've made them, it's a done deal. Uh, you can't go back and change it. If you made a mistake, you'll live with it the next 30 years or however long you're in retirement. So right. having that roadmap is, is so critical. And that's why um, the, the, that's the basis of the book. Um, so uh, I look forward to sharing that story for sure next week. Awesome. Well, we're looking forward to uh, helping get the message out. Uh, so for those listening, how can they find you? Okay, uh, we try to make it easy. Uh, you know, the first place, of course, is the internet, the World Wide Web, as we like to refer to it. Um, uh, and, and you just go to masterplanretire.com. Very easy to remember, masterplanretire, all one word, masterplanretire.com. 
or Google Master Plan Retirement Consultants, Atlanta area. We are located in the southeast. We have regional offices all around because there are so many federal hot spots around the southeast. But we are our home office is located in northwest Atlanta. Um, and um, this is kind of our, our jumping off base. But uh, again, masterplanretire.com is a great place to go. And and we do a lot of our preliminary meetings by uh, by over the Internet um, because we need to find out more about you and your situation, what's going on, what your issues are, what your worries are. So we'll know what to solve. And so um, uh, and of course, now with uh, things you know, the way the world is right now, we can do all of our meetings online, uh, of course. But um Hopefully, as things open back up, we'll be able to start doing more face-to-face again. I enjoy those much better, and and our clients really become like family, Jeff. So it's it's important that we right. we have that connection. But masterplanretire.com. If you're near your cell phone, which I think we always are, uh, you can actually text the word master plan to the number twenty one thousand, and that will bring up a contact page where you can find us on Facebook, internet, and about six other places. Uh, so if you don't have something else handy, but you're, you've got your phone, just, uh, again, text the word master plan, all one word to the number 21,000. So that's two great ways to find us. Um, <clears throat> I can also give out the phone number, uh, local number, number being 770-980-9262. We actually still use the old fashioned phone a lot too, Jeff. So that comes in handy as well. So 770-980-9262. And, uh, your book's available on Amazon? It is. You know, just go to Amazon. Easiest way to find it, if you type in The Road Less Travel, there's more than one book called that, as you may know. Um, and something interesting I found out as I was writing my book, that you, you cannot trademark a book name. So I could have called it Gone with the Wind or <laughs> or, or The Firm or whatever I wanted to call it, and, and I would not get it. I don't know that. That's true, yeah. But, I, of course, the, the extra little tidbit at the bottom, the excursion of a lifetime does distinguish it. But all that being said, just type in my name at Amazon, Mark Fricks, F-R-I-C-K-S, and the book will pop up. And uh, But those that actually meet with us on a, on a consultation, we actually send them a complimentary copy of the book. So uh, if you want to avoid paying, I think it's 15 bucks, whatever it is, which goes to my favorite charity, by the way. Uh, but if you want to avoid paying that, then um, just um, schedule a consultation with us. You can do that right on the website, bottom right corner. You push that little blue button and you find my calendar. Um, there we go. Uh, you get a free copy of the book. So, Okay. And then also, Fed employees out there, uh, check out our website, uh, www.fedchecklist.com. And you can also post questions for Mark on there. You can book a meeting uh, for a complimentary retirement consultation and then get a free copy of the book. And um, you can download a uh, retirement worksheet and budget. So go check that out, uh, fedchecklist.com. So yeah, that's some right. good stuff too, Jeff. I took a look at that. Yeah. So uh, great information. It's all about education and um, providing resources for each of you out there, especially during these turbulent times. So, uh, all right. Well, we're looking forward to it. Uh, Mark, thank you for your time. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Um, uh, thanks for hosting this, Jeff, and we'll uh, talk to you next time. You got it. And so everybody out there, uh, subscribe. Uh, you find us on numerous channels, uh, 12 podcast channels, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, all of it. And look for the next episode as we get into Chapter 1, Destination Retirement. So we'll, uh, we'll be back next week. Thank you.